Hello, and welcome to Health and Science Channel. Thank you for joining us. Today we are going to talk about an important topic requested by our viewers, which is how to keep your bones strong and how to reverse or prevent osteoporosis. In this video, we will discuss how our body maintains healthy bones, this is also known as bone remodeling. We will shed light on the risk factors of osteoporosis, how do we end up with brittle and fragile bones, what are the reasons? And last, we will discuss the tips and lifestyle changes you should take to help yourself strengthen your bone and prevent or reverse osteoporosis. Before digging deeper into this discussion, if you are interested in health-related research topics, please subscribe to our channel to get a newly uploaded video of your choice. For those who have already subscribed, we would like to say thank you for your support. Why do we think this topic is an important topic? Well, you will be surprised to find out that one in five women who have broken a bone break three or more before being diagnosed of osteoporosis. In the UK, over three million people are estimated to have this condition. In the United States, an estimated 10 million people age 50 years and older have osteoporosis. Many people with osteoporosis do not know they have it until they break a bone. This is the reason it is often referred to as a silent disease. Because there are typically no symptoms until a bone is broken or one or more vertebrae collapse or are fractured. Symptoms of a vertebral fracture may include severe back pain, loss of height, or spine malformations such as a stooped or hunched posture. So, basically, many people only know they are affected once the damage is done. To understand how osteoporosis develops we first need to understand how our bones go through remodeling. Bone remodeling is a process by which older damaged bone are removed or chewed by cells called osteocast and a new bone tissue is replaced by cells called osteoblasts. Bone remodeling is a very important process, it serves to adjust bone architecture, helps to repair micro-damages, and helps to maintain skeletal strength and integrity. The misconception many people have is that bones are static and unchanging, like a rock or a tree, but the truth is that bones are very dynamic hard tissue that undergoes a continuous remodeling process to maintain skeletal strength and integrity. In simple terms, you can say it's living, active tissue constantly renewing itself. Bone remodeling is essential for adult bone homeostasis. The balance between the two phases is crucial for sustaining bone mass and systemic mineral homeostasis. To sustain the bone weight, there is a delicate balance between the osteoblast bone formation and osteoclast bone resorption known as bone homeostasis. The imbalance of bone homeostasis will induce bone disorder, such as osteoporosis and osteopetrosis. Osteoporosis is a bone disease that develops when bone mineral density and bone mass decrease. The main reason bone density decreases, it's that the creation of new bone can't keep up with the loss of old bone. For that reason, bones become weak, brittle and fragile, increasing your risk of fractures. Risk Factors Certain risk factors may lead to the development of osteoporosis or can increase the likelihood that you will develop the disease. Therefore, understanding your risk factors for osteoporosis is the first step in taking an active role to prevent and treat the disease. Osteoporosis can affect men and women, but several factors can increase the likelihood that you'll develop osteoporosis, these factors include. 1. Women are more at risk than men. Women are more at risk of developing osteoporosis than men because the hormone changes that happen at menopause directly affect bone density. Estrogen is essential for healthy bones. After menopause, estrogen levels fall. This can lead to a rapid decrease in bone density. 2. Age. From age 28 to 50, Bone density tends to stay stable with equal amounts of bone formation and bone breakdown. After age 50, bone breakdown outpaces bone formation, and bone loss often accelerates. 3. Taking Broton's inhibitors and H2 blockers such as omeprazole and esomeprazole. 
These medications will block acids in your gut and give you relief, but can also reduce calcium absorption, which is essential for bone formation. Studies have shown that patients taking proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, like omeprazole were more likely to develop osteoporosis and hip or spinal fractures. 4. Deficient in vitamin D3. Low vitamin D levels could increase your risk of osteoporosis and broken bones. Vitamin D helps your body absorb and use calcium, which gives your bones strength and hardness. So it is essential to keep your vitamin D checked from time to time. Taking a healthy dose of vitamin D can prevent you from developing osteoporosis. 5. Deficient in vitamin K2. Without enough vitamin K2, you may have a lower bone density and a higher risk of hip fracture. Vitamin K is essential to bone health because it activates several proteins in bone formation. Poor dietary intake of vitamin K is associated with bone loss and fractures. You can find vitamin K in a dark leafy vegetable. 6. Soft drink. Drinking soda and carbonated beverages significantly lower bone density, which can cause osteoporosis to develop over time. 7. Poor diet and too much sugar may drive both calcium and vitamin D deficiency. The overconsumption of sugar may impair bone formation by causing high glucose levels in the blood. 8. High caffeine consumption has been proposed as a risk factor for osteoporotic fracture. Some research suggests that caffeine interferes with calcium absorption and therefore higher doses of caffeine, around 800 mg or more per day, may up your risk of developing osteoporosis. 9. Smoking. 10. Alcohol consumption. 11. Rheumatoid arthritis. 12. Hyperthyroidism. Tips to prevent or reverse osteoporosis. 1. Exercise. Even though it is a normal part of aging to lose bone density, there are things you can do to slow that process down such as with weight training. It doesn't matter which age you are. You could be in your 20s or 50s, it is never too early to preserve your muscle mass or bone density. Weight-bearing exercise and resistance exercise are very important for improving bone density and helping to prevent osteoporosis. Inactivity causes loss of bone. Physical exercise is considered an effective means to stimulate bone osteogenesis, new bone formation. 2. Drink organic bone broth. If you are suffering from osteopenia or osteoporosis or want to prevent these debilitating conditions, drinking bone broth or using supplemental collagen has been shown to significantly reduce bone mass loss and the likelihood of bone fractures. 3. Increase calcium intake For example, you can drink milk or calcium-fortified orange juice, eat foods such as cottage cheese, cooked spinach, turnip greens, collard greens, cooked broccoli. 4. Take vitamin D. 5. Take vitamin K2. 6. Increase intake of foods such as tofu, nuts, fish like sardines. 7. Eat olives. Studies have shown that extra virgin olive oil excellent for bone health. It's been scientifically proven to increase bone density and much more. 8. Increase your protein intake. Protein makes up about 50% of your bone volume and third of your bone mass, so taking in optimal amounts of protein on a daily basis is very important for bone health. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening. I hope you find this video helpful, please share with your friends and family if you know anyone who is suffering from osteoporosis. Take care and